I figured why not just, you know, show you guys exactly how I'm gonna set my own grid up. Um, yeah, let's just run through all of the settings one more time. I have just reset this profile. I have, um, yeah, there you go. I'll reset it again. There you go, fresh profile. Now I want to make this good. So the first thing we're of course gonna do is go to the layouts tab here. And we're gonna go into group 25 with pets. Group 25 with pets, 25 with pets, 25 with pets. For battlegrounds, this is gonna suck, but I don't do battlegrounds, so it's whatever. 25 with pets. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go for some horizontal groups. This will make it so that group 1 goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is awkward, and I don't like it. Um, the padding is gonna be the space between people. So the more padding I have, the more open space there's gonna be between me and all the other people. I just keep it on like one, it's fine. A little bit of social distancing, you know, it's okay. The spacing is really just what it is. You're gonna space things out a bit further on the scale. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it does. I just like to keep it on one. There we go, just put it on back on 1, that's fine. Ah, uh, 1.2 is good, whatever. Let's keep it like that. Now to remove the border and the background, all you have to do is just delete it like that. Go into their color picker and remove the, uh, what's that called, like the shadowy effect behind it. You know, like the, just basically delete it entirely. Yeah. That's it for the layout in this uh, advanced tab. There's not much to look at, really, like, that's fine. Now we're gonna move on to the frame tab, and we're gonna move on to advanced first. Yeah, I know, it's a bit out of order, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about this. Um, icon bar size, icon border size, I mean. We'll worry about that in a little bit, the icon size as well. Now the border size is basically, as you can see, I have selected myself, so you'll get like a white rectangle around your name. Unclicking it, there you go, but it's, it's horrendous if you put that on more than like two. I only keep it on one, I think that's fine, it looks smooth. On the corner size, well, I'll show you that in a second as well, it has to deal with, uh, it has to do with some spells, the same thing as these two. Okay, so the font, I just keep it on Fritz Quadrata, it's whatever, font outline, we don't need that. Font size, of course, it's gonna increase the font on the grid. Now if you want more letters there, what you have to do is go into frame here and turn on center text length and put it to like 6. Like my name is like 6 or something, so let's put it to, let's put it to 8. Um, go back in advance. Now we're gonna mess with the frame a bit. Now here's where you're gonna decide how big you want your grid to be. The frame height is exactly what it is, it increases the frame height. Just go ahead and lower that a bit to something like that, 44 is okay. Frame width, I do crank that up a little bit, because look how beautiful that is. Yeah. The orientation of frame, I think it should be horizontal. The orientation of text, just keep that vertical, that's okay. And that's it for the frame advanced. Now let's move on to putting our spells on the actual grid. You want to be able to see certain spells, and um, I'll show you how to do that. So on the border, you'll see that there's already a bunch of default things, right? Low HP warning, low mana warning. I highly suggest you to just remove all of this. Like, um, remove all of it. Just go into all of these settings and delete everything. Yeah, it's not gonna show you anything, but that's okay, we'll fix it. On the default grid, there's a lot of settings that are like double, you know? You don't want double settings, it's not gonna be useful for you. So, starting off on the frame alpha. What is frame alpha? Frame alpha will show you basically um, exactly what you need. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Center text, let's start off there, because this is creeping me the fuck out. Unit name, there we go. Frame alpha. This is going to show you a range distancing thingy. You, this is very important as a healer. Now what you want to do as a healer or as a DPS is go into here. And for example, if Innervate is your only utility spell, make sure that it's 30 yards and then turn this on. For me, my healing spells are 40 yards. 
However, when someone is about to go out of line of sight, I will also have to see that. And when someone is like 10 yards away, I don't care. 100 yards, that's fine. You know, when someone needs to get summoned, I'll be able to see that instantly. So that's frame alpha. Bottom right corner. Now this depends on your class. If you're playing a Restoration Druid, you might want to put Rejuvenation there. If you're playing a Holy Paladin, maybe put a Sacred Shield there, you know? Or a Beacon of Light, whatever you wanna... However you wanna do it. As a Restoration Shaman, I have four corners. I don't even have four spells, right? Um, I have Riptide and Chained Heal effect that I wanna track. Now... How am I going to track these things if Chained Heal doesn't exist? You know, it is called Chained Heal. You need to know exactly what it's called for this next step. So let's go ahead and get the effect on us real quickly here. If it allows us to. There we go. Chained Heal. So, Chained Heal. What we're going to do is we're going to go into... Status right here. Auras. Add a new buff. Chained Heal. Enter. Now in your auras, you're gonna have a whole lot of things here. Go to buff, chain, heal. Show with mine. Don't show with missing, that's alright. Show duration, this only works for the center icon. So don't worry too much about it. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a light blue color. Right? And for Riptide, which is in here as well, I want that to be a light or like a deep blue color. Show with mine and enable. Once again, we're gonna skip the show duration thing. We don't need that. It's only it's only gonna work on the center icon, which we'll talk about in a sec here. So now having set up our buffs in the like in this status thingy, having set up our auras, we can assign them to a corner. So on the bottom left, I want to see my chained heal. Buff chained heal. Now let's go ahead and spam some more chain heals on us. As you can see, I have successfully Put chain heal on myself, and there's now a light blue box, a light blue box indicating that uh, there's a chain heal on me. On the bottom right corner, we're gonna turn on the Riptide buff, and once I hit Riptide myself, I'll be able to see that I have the buff for Riptide. That's really good because if you heal a Riptide person with chain heal, you're gonna actually increase your healing from the chain heal. It's very good. In the top left and top right, we don't have anything to put there because there's no more spells to track. I track my earth shield and my water shield with need to know. But what we can do there is put a low mana warning. Now if we, for example, are in group 5 and everyone's healing and oh shit, we're running out of mana, you know? Like no one has mana left. You'll be able to see that before that happens and you'll be able to use your mana tight totem. Now let me get out of mana here, just a minute please. Oh yeah, that'll do the trick every single time. Oh, that's much better. Look at that mana disappear. Gotta love enhancement shamans. Alright, so now that we're low on mana, we can see that there's like this purplish dot. Once again, we can change that if we want to. We can go into the low mana warning, change the color to that, put it on, uh, put it on green. Make it indicate that we need a let's say a uh, an innervate you can set the mana threshold even this is a really good um, yeah this is a good way to keep track of uh, people's mana basically in the top left corner i don't think i want anything there on the border i want an aggro alert so whenever someone's gonna have aggro they'll have this right like this red circle around them indicating that they have aggro all right for the healing bar you could put incoming heals but i really don't like that. Let's see if it already works. If I just do it like that. Okay, yeah, never mind. It just doesn't work. So just get rid of that. I don't like it either if it even works. Center text, of course, has to be your name. Now the center icon. What you want to do here is you want to put all the debuff types. Disease, poison, magic. Yeah, even magic, even though we cannot dispel it, we want to be able to see what goes on in the raid, right? We don't have to worry about like weakened soul for example, so you don't have to turn that on. If you were a disc, this is what you would be tracking. 
Alright, so center icon. I can't really show you guys that. Maybe inside of a raid, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll maybe cut some footage in. So yeah, there you have it. Now, the, about that center icon, I, I said it before, we're gonna get back to it. If you wanna change the way that center icon looks, you gotta go to advanced and increase the icon size, maybe like, um, yeah, increase the corner size right here. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys as well. That's a low mana warning. Let's go ahead and pop our mana tie totem. And look, it's gone. Good stuff. Now let's get rid of that totem and go back to zero mana. Alright, that corner size is nice. That's good enough. So yeah, I think that's most of it, really. I think that's like... Yeah, pretty much everything. So yeah, I think that's most of it for Grit. I don't know, if there's any more questions, do feel free to ask it. But like everything I went over, it's pretty much how I set up my own Grit. It really takes me like about 10 minutes now, the first time I did it, of course, 30 minutes plus. But once you know your way around this add-on, it's a very, very good add-on. Of course, there's always Realbot, there's always Voodoo, there's always a whole bunch of other add-ons that you could use. I like Grit, I'm not saying it's the best, of course, but it's what I like. Now, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about really, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next live.